From innovative ideas to huge hurdles, the Philippines' narrative of infrastructure development continues. After unearthing the game-changing projects that set the stage, it's time to dive deeper into the intriguing narratives that shape the nation's destiny. Get ready to see the developing drama of progress and persistence as we unveil the captivating tale of how the Philippines are connecting people and places through mega infrastructure projects. Are you ready to join the journey? Let's go! Imagine a future where Manila's hustle and bustle effortlessly blend with Tarlac and Pampanga's affluent prospects through a groundbreaking transportation network. This ambition is fast taking shape through the massive Manila to Tarlac Railway project, slated to shake up the transport landscape of the Philippines. The North-South Commuter Railway, NSCR, is a 147-kilometer railway project that will link Metro Manila to the provinces of Bulacan, Pampanga, Tarlac, and Laguna. It is expected to shorten the commute between these regions by up to 80%. The NSCR is split into two phases, with Phase 1 projected to be completed in 2025 and Phase 2 slated to be completed in 2028. The NSCR will include 37 stations, with 25 in Phase 1 and 12 in Phase 2. The project will also comprise two depots, one in Pampanga and the other in Laguna. The NSCR is expected to handle up to 800,000 passengers daily, making it one of the busiest railway lines in the Philippines. The project is also estimated to produce up to 100,000 jobs during development and operation. The proposal has drawn conflicting sentiments among citizens. While some express hope for the ease and time-saving benefits, others remain extremely doubtful about its smooth execution. As noticed in various social media platforms, commuters have a distinct sense of anticipation, indicating the prospective reprieve from the perpetual traffic gridlocks that have long plagued the country's main highways. Many are confident that the NSCR would reduce the burden of everyday commuting, stimulate economic activities and foster the development of remote regions. However, some of the populace has voiced worries about the probable disruption during the construction period and the impact on existing urban infrastructures. The risk of temporary disruption has spurred discussions over the long-term merits of the initiative. Despite the early doubts, statistical evidence illustrates the favorable influence of the NSCR on the transportation sector. The Philippine Statistics Authority's PSA recent transportation study found a considerable spike in public interest, with 73% of respondents showing a great intent to embrace the railway system as their principal means of transport once operational. Moreover, the predicted economic uplift provided by the NSCR is a primary driving force behind the government's unrelenting commitment to ensure its prompt completion. As outlined in the National Economic and Development Authority's NADA Extensive Economic Report, the NSCR is anticipated to generate an estimated 1.4% increase in the country's GDP within the first five years of operation, further cementing its status as a pivotal catalyst for sustainable economic growth. Before we unveil the next project, kindly subscribe to the channel. If you have been enjoying the video so far, don't forget to press the like button and leave your comments below. Let us continue. Sangley Point International Airport is a new airport being built on recovered ground in Cavite Province, Philippines. It is located about 10 kilometers south of Manila. The Sangley Point International Airport Development Consortium, a combination of Filipino and foreign enterprises, is constructing the airport. The airport will be completed in 2025, featuring two runways, each 3.7 kilometers long. It will be able to hold up to 100 million passengers each year. The airport will also have a freight terminal with a capacity of 1.5 million tons annually. The Sangley Point International Airport is predicted to impact the Philippine economy substantially. The airport is predicted to produce over 1 million jobs and generate over 1 trillion pesos in economic activity yearly. 
The airport will also enhance tourism in the Philippines, making it easier for visitors from other nations to come to the country. The Sangli Point International Airport, tucked in the booming province of Cavite, is on track to emerge as a revolutionary force in the country's aviation scene. To reduce congestion at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, NNAAIA, the establishment of Sangle Point International Airport is a significant step towards upgrading the Philippines' air travel capacity. According to the Department of Transportation, DOTR, this strategic step intends to satisfy the rising air traffic demand and improve the nation's standing as a significant hub for global connectivity. It is designed to act as an alternative gateway for domestic and international aircraft, reducing the pressure on the chronically packed Naye. The erection of Sangli Point International Airport marks a gigantic infrastructural effort, showcasing the Philippines' commitment to encouraging sustainable growth and improving its transportation network. The project's broad scope involves the creation of world-class runways, state-of-the-art terminals and cutting-edge amenities, all geared to manage the anticipated spike in air traffic and adapt to the increasing needs of modern travellers. Amidst these lofty expansion ambitions, obstacles persist, needing careful preparation and proactive remedies. The Environmental Management Bureau EMB, has stressed the necessity of environmentally friendly procedures and environmental stewardship in the development of the airport. Striking a balance between infrastructural progress and ecological preservation remains a primary concern, with strict rules to ensure the project's compliance with environmental requirements. This commitment to sustainability shows the Philippines' goal to support eco-friendly infrastructure development that corresponds with worldwide environmental conservation initiatives. As the Sangli Point International Airport takes shape, it reflects the nation's resolve to emerge as a key participant in the global aviation sector. By emphasizing efficiency, sustainability and innovation, the Philippines is forging a space for itself as a modern and forward-thinking destination for air travel. The airport's strategic location, coupled with its world-class services and sustainable practices, presents it as a symbol of development and a tribute to the Philippines' unrelenting commitment to propelling its aviation sector into a new era of prosperity and significance. The Davao Samal Bridge is a 4.3 km bridge connecting the city of Davao to the island of Samal. It is being created as part of the government's Build 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 initiative, which aims to strengthen the country's infrastructure. The bridge will be the first bridge linking Mindanao's mainland to Samal Island, utilizing a cable-stayed bridge design. The bridge will have a clearance height of 50 meters, allowing huge ships to pass underneath. The China Communications Construction Company will develop the bridge. The roadway will have two lanes in each direction, accommodating up to 50,000 cars daily. It will also have a path for pedestrians and a bicycle lane. The Davao Samal Bridge is projected to be finished in 2026 with a price tag of 19.8 billion pesos. Currently, the only means to access Samal Island is by ferry, this can be a time-consuming and expensive operation. The Davao Samal Bridge will make it easier and cheaper for tourists to get to Samal Island, which is projected to promote tourism and economic activities in the area. The bridge is anticipated to shorten travel time between Davao City and Samal Island by as much as 30 minutes. This will make it more convenient for individuals to move between the two areas, which could lead to increased social and economic engagement. The Davao Samal Bridge is anticipated to improve air pollution and traffic congestion in Davao City by redirecting traffic away from the city centre. This could lead to a healthier and more pleasant atmosphere for residents. The construction of the Davao Samal Bridge is expected to produce thousands of new jobs for Filipinos. The bridge is also projected to contribute to forming new enterprises and possibilities on Samal Island. However, the endeavor is not without its obstacles. Environmental concerns and the preservation of marine habitats have been important grounds for controversy. 
requiring the installation of severe procedures to offset the ecological damage. The Department of Public Works and Highways DPWH, has highlighted its commitment to ensuring the project's sustainability by applying eco-friendly engineering practices and extensive environmental impact studies. As the Davao Samal Bridge creeps closer to fulfillment, it stands as a monument to the Philippines' unwavering determination to support inclusive growth and regional integration. This bridge epitomizes the spirit of progress by promoting a junction between urban dynamism and natural serenity, underscoring the government's proactive position in ushering in an era of sustainable growth and connectedness. From the tenacious spirit of the Filipino people to the intricate difficulties facing the country's growth, this analysis of the Philippines' mega-projects has been a thrilling voyage. If you found these ideas fascinating, please support us by liking and sharing this video with your friends and check the related videos on the screen. See you next time.